Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I'm going to be getting started with doing some marketing for Aquilinox. I also want to look into setting up the Steam page and there's also a big list of suggestions and bug fixes that I need to work through so I'm going to be doing some of that this week as well. So first up this week I've got a few more things to do with the audio system to finish off and the first one is something that a couple of people mentioned after last week's devlog video and that is that I should vary the clicking sounds that you hear in the UI, uh, this clicking sound here. So I'm now using multiple different clicking sounds and I've also set up a way to vary the pitch of the clicking sounds so that every time you click on something in the UI you get a slightly different clicking sound um, just so that it doesn't get overly annoying. For the rest of the morning today I've been working on unlockable music tasks. So in the music tab here you can see a list of all the tracks in the game and some of the tracks when you first start the game are locked and you can unlock these through tasks. Uh, so for example this task here you can see that one of the rewards is that it unlocks the reminiscence music track and because I've already completed this task I can actually claim the rewards now and when I do this you can see I get a notification saying that I've unlocked the track and if we have a look again in the music tab you can see that that track is now unlocked and can be played. So now I need to pop to the shops quickly to get some ingredients for the curry that I want to make tonight and then I'll do some work on some bug fixing. Next up today I've been trying to fix an issue with placing objects into the world which has been annoying me for ages and that is that when you're placing stuff in the world you can right click to bring the shop back up again and then you can choose a different object um, but the problem is that right click is also used to move the camera you can basically right click on the world and drag it around to move the camera so when you're trying to place something and you try to move the camera by right clicking obviously it cancels the placement and then you have to select the object in the shop again which is a little bit frustrating so this afternoon I just implemented a test to work out whether the user is trying to move the camera or whether they're trying to do just a single right click to open the shop back up again. So you can see now that while I'm placing these trees I can move the camera by holding down the right mouse button and dragging the world around but if I do a single right click it knows that I now want to go back into the shop. For the last hour or two I've been doing a bit of work on the website designs, I created a, a rough design for the home page, but now I think I'm going to look for a few more sound effects for Equilinox and try and get some more for the UI. Just finishing off the afternoon now and I haven't been overly successful finding new sound effects, I found a couple of animal noises which I'll implement soon and also one new UI sound effect which I've already implemented and that is the sounds that you hear when you're trying to buy something in the shop but you don't have enough money. So I'm going to stop for a bit now and have some dinner, um, I'm going to make that curry that I mentioned earlier. It is 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning and today I'm still just going to be working through all of these final tasks, all these little improvements that I need to make to the game before release. And the first one that I've been doing today was a suggestion that I got recently which was that when you press the escape button it should close any open UI. Um, so I have now implemented that because previously when you press the escape button it would just straight away bring up the main menu. But now uh, when you press escape it closes any open UI panels and then if there's no UI open and you press escape it brings up the main menu. For the rest of the morning today I've just been crossing some more of the tasks off the to-do list and the first was a bug to do with text. Any text that had quotation marks in it um, it would add extra quotation marks and that was an issue with the way that the CSV file was being saved um, so I fixed that and the second thing that I had to do was to do with animal names. Um, every animal in the game has a name which you can edit if you want but before you edit it, it obviously has to have some default name and these names need to come from somewhere and previously I just hard coded a list into a class somewhere but because I didn't want to spend ages typing out loads of different names the names in the game would repeat quite a lot so now what I've done is I found a list of names for pets on the internet I put them all into a CSV file and the default names for the animals are now loaded up from that CSV file 
so there are now loads of different names to choose from. So that's what I've been doing this morning, and now I'm going to stop for a bit and make some lunch. So one thing that a few people have mentioned, and something that I'd quite like to do before release, is to update or improve the logo for Equinox. So for the last hour I've just been trying out a few things, but I haven't really got anywhere. Designing logos isn't really one of my strengths. So I wanted to ask you guys what you think, whether you think it needs updating at all, and if you do, what don't you like about the current logo, what could I change, or what direction should I go in if I make a completely new logo. Um, any feedback that you might have would be really helpful. Good morning everyone, it is Thursday morning, I'm just getting ready for another day of development, and something that I've started doing this year is every morning while I'm having breakfast I write a quick plan for the day. So I write down all the goals that I've got, the things that I want to complete, and I also write down a, a very quick schedule for the day, and then I put that up on my new pinboard here. And um, it's just something I thought I'd try out this year to see if it helps me be a bit more organised or not. And also, on the next day, it gives me the chance to have a look at the previous day's goals and see if I met them or not. And if I didn't, I can think about why I didn't meet them. And I'm hoping that this will make me a bit better at kind of goal setting and working out how much I can do in a certain amount of time. And maybe even estimating how long things are going to take. Because, as you know, those are kind of weaknesses of mine. Just stopping for a lunch break now, but it's been a really productive morning. I got through loads of different bug fixes, uh, such as an issue to do with the turtles when they're coming up onto the land. They weren't swimming upwards fast enough, so they kind of got stuck in the terrain. So I fixed that. Also, there was an issue to do with the number of breeding requirements in the entity info panel. And you can see that if there were too many, it would overflow out of the panel. And there was also an issue to do with selecting tasks. When you click on a task to select it, you can see that it becomes highlighted but there are actually ways of selecting tasks without clicking on them. So for example, through a locked task, uh, I can select a different task without actually clicking on that task. And I needed to make sure that the selected task is still highlighted, even though it wasn't clicked on. Next up today, more searching for sound effects, and I've got a couple of new ones for the UI now. So I've just been creating a new clicking sound effect for when you select something in the shop. And there's also a new sound effect for when you get a notification. For the rest of the day today, I've been doing a bit more work on my marketing plan for Equilinox, and marketing is really something that I have zero previous experience with, so over the last few weeks I've been doing loads of reading up about it, trying to get a better idea of what I should and shouldn't be doing, reading lots of different articles and interviews with other game developers and seeing what they did and what worked and what didn't work. Also, I've just been looking into setting up a Steam page for the game, and there are just a few administrative things that I have to do first before I can actually set up the page, and so I was just doing some of those things. This evening I had a bit of extra time, so I thought I'd implement one more suggestion that I got recently, which is that when an animal that you've given a name to dies, you should get notified about it. So you can see this sheep here, I've given the name Dolly, and when that sheep dies, you can see that I get a notification letting me know about Dolly's unfortunate demise. So this morning I've just been working my way through more of the tasks that I need to get done before release. Uh, so for example, I've been filling in the content for the help pages. You might remember that when I created this UI, I said that I'd fill in the content when the game is finished. So the time for that is now. Also, I fixed a bug to do with the auto-saving feature, and I've just been fixing a glitch to do with the turtle, where if the turtle is hiding in its shell when the game is saved, then when the game loads again, it will still be in its shell, but it will be able to move, which obviously it shouldn't be able to do. Just stopping for a bit of lunch now, and for the last part of the morning I was once again looking for a few more sound effects, which I think is probably going to be an ongoing process. I'll just do a bit of searching every day or every couple of days up until release, and probably even after release as well. There are always going to be more things in the game that I could add sound effects for. 
Um, but today I found some pretty good sound effects for guinea pigs, so I've just been tidying up those sounds and adding them into the game, as you can hear. So, just going to have a quick break before I do any more and go for a run in the park. And my New Year's resolution is still intact, I've been running every day this year so far, so hopefully I can keep that up a bit longer. Nothing particularly exciting to show you this afternoon, I've just been doing the editing for this week's devlog video and now I'm going to stop for some dinner and then later I'll probably do some email answering and comment answering. It is Saturday morning and today so far I've just been continuing on with the editing for this video. Um, but I'm going to stop in a bit because I'm going on a bit of a trip this afternoon. We're going to see an old spy station which is on top of a hill and there's a pretty nice view of Berlin. So I'll probably put some footage of that in the background here. Um, but for this week that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, it's been a good week though. I got through loads of tasks, finished off loads of the suggestions and the bug fixes that I needed to do. And um, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's just really nice to see the game finally coming together after so long. Um, there's still work to be done, obviously, still more bugs to be fixed, still more issues to look at. Uh, for example, next week I'm going to be working on the evolution system, because a lot of people have pointed out some issues with it, and seeing as it's kind of like a core mechanic of the game, I really need to make sure that that's working absolutely perfectly. So I'll be doing a lot of work on that next week, but for this week, that is going to be it. So thank you guys very much for watching this video, do subscribe if you haven't already, have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.